This is the Baxter robot from Rethink Robotics. It's a research and development tool in the Robotics Innovation Facility at the Bristol Robotics Laboratory at the University of West of England. The facility is funded by the European Union under the ECORD++ program. This demonstration will show how a robot arm can be controlled without the conventional computational approach of prediction and kinematics. It will show a system that automatically counteracts unknown disturbances and degrades gracefully with loss of partial function. It also demonstrates the use of memory as the recall of perceptions as goals from which patterns of observed behaviour emerges. In this hierarchical system of perceptual control systems, the middle level is controlling perceptual goals for arm reach, hand elevation, hand pitch and the shoulder yaw. And these systems set the reference perceptual goals for the lower level systems which are the for each of the joint angles of the system. The top level incorporates a an associative memory system which sends signals to the mid-level systems in such a way the system goes through a sequence of perceptual goals to be achieved out of which emerges the global behavior that is observed. The actual actions are carried out in real time in order to um, achieve the perceptual goals and it's all done dynamically on the fly and there's no computation of the angles required in advance so there's no prediction and no kinematics although at one level each arm controls its own goals independently at a higher level there's a common goal for the arms to be synchronised and there's a common perceptual goal. So if you cause one arm to stop or pause as shown here, then the other arm will also stop and won't go on to the next step until the other arm catches up. Because the system consists of 
individual, to some extent independent control systems that are controlling their own goals, the system degrades gracefully with the loss of partial function. For example, there are often multiple links between systems. In this case, the arm reach system is connected to the low level systems of both the joint for the shoulder pitch and the joint for the elbow angle. Here I cut one of those links between the systems, but the overall system is able to carry on with little appreciable difference. The individual control systems are only interested in controlling their own perceptual goals and the system automatically finds other routes for those goals to be achieved. The last few minutes of this video show the Baxter robot system going through the sequence of controlling its perceptual goals which form the pattern of the Tai Chi movement until I shut the system down.